Welcome back to Let's Play AWE, the DLC chapter for Control. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'm just chilling in this room full of especially dead letters. But, uh, we've got work to do. We need to investigate whatever this is. And later, I need to go back to that room where I first met Hartman, because, uh, Hey, shout out to 1, 2, 3, 4, Andrew Jack Smith, because that wasn't actually the piece of lore he was talking about in that room. There's another one in there, a file folder, apparently. Okay. Oh, right, yeah, they can just do that. I'm gonna have to drop down first. Why didn't I fly there? The button and everything. Jeez. Cover me, I believe the phrase is. count. I suppose I probably should have a quest up there in the corner, you know? Uh, huh? Kill his snipers with the service weapon in any mode. I mean, it sounds pretty damn straightforward. I did see it, in case you were curious. Now what was that icon? That looked like uh, something to do with Surge. Alright, I don't think... Oh, there it is. Weapon damage after kills. Yes, spam mail. This thing has suddenly turned into a long-range rifle, with all the bullets going to the same spot. Up you go. Ah, there you are. Noted. Oh no. Now you're my firework. seems to have solved that problem. Not that one, mind you. Now that I see that guy down there, but it solved a bunch of other ones. Oh. 
Oh no! I have made a dreadful mistake. Oh! Positioning disaster. Why can I only ever find one guy at a time? You know what? I'm sorry to that nod. Oh, I can't actually put that one on the top. Okay. Lame. I think I bugged it out somehow. Down you go. Oh. Hey, you're a different guy. All right, big guy, where are you? Dodging skills are better than that. Oh, that's annoying. That's also annoying. Him making that weird slurpy inhale noise. Like that. Except possibly only in my head, because I wasn't sure I heard it at all. Hmm. What do these things actually say? <laughs> oh, good. I've been throwing hazardous material around. I thought it was neat that when I rotated around the, uh, the object, uh, the object remained stationary and Jesse rotated around it. It did prevent me from reading it earlier, but, you know. Now then, before I forget... the Night Springs screenplay, page three. The director steps closer to the horrible entity. He reaches out with a steady hand. You are mine now, creature. I will return you to my facility and control your power. Sir, we don't know. The entity instead rushes forward and engulfs the director. He screams in pain as the scientist looks on and does nothing like the coward that he is. Alan? Uh, entity subtitled. Oh no. I am not the one being examined. I am not the one locked inside a prison. Gradually, the director emerges from the entity. His once sparkling eyes are now empty and dull. The scientist rushes to him. Sir, sir, we have to escape. We cannot. 
They are in control now. I got what I wanted. Nah. Well, there were a few butons. I wonder if they hid any lore on, uh, whiteboards you can't read by default because they're in the dark. Very strange. Well, I guess I'm going in there because that's where the, the, the wall was. goods or services up here? What about over there, those shelves? I, didn't, I wasn't spending much time over there. Well, apparently a few... Apparently a few spr... Jesus me! Apparently... A few stray bullets uh, did spend some time over here. Oops, that was not what I meant to do. Hey, it works. Nice. It's always nice and you don't accidentally break the thing. Shout out to Yornik, who uh, wanted us to know that Fra means brother or friar, you know, the churchy sort of brother, in Italian. Interesting. And uh, shout out to uh, Elthwar, who uh, confirms that the, uh, the town names we came across in the last session are all in Illinois, although that uh, Alton and Springfield specifically are fairly common town names with a lot of different places using them. Uh, oh, yes, here's the other one I wanted to do. Uh, Torix00 had an interesting question. Was Mold 1 made whole cloth out of the mold, or is it the remains of a separate organism not native to this world that succumbed to the mold? And honestly, I have no idea. I very I understand the mold even worse than I do the hiss. And we don't even know if the hiss is smart or not. Well, that's interesting. Yeah, that's important. Where does this go? Where does this go? Over there. Oh yeah, okay, I see. On second thought, fuck that. <laughs> yeah, let's definitely check out that other place first. I'm pretty sure that's one of those doorways that just wrecks the, uh... The, uh, the lights. Oh. Oh! Different kind of hammer was the solution there. Oh, it's just a sound that plays every once in a while. I thought it made a whoosh sound as I turned the camera to the side. And I thought that was neat. Some kind of power junction box? I don't ever know that they really do power junctioning in the oldest house, you know? Did I restart my timer? I did. Excellent! It's all... it's all good. It, oh, hey, I guess I found this. Oh, this room is bad with it. What the fuck?! Did the mold do this? Is it influencing the oldest house here? 
Did it make the house high in this specific location? Ah, like, oh, shit, man. I can't remember if this room, what orientation this room was meant to have. I'll just throw it on and hope for the best. Maybe the humans won't notice. Can I stand on this railing? I can. Oops. It. Hmm. Ah, good. Ugh. Oh, I really don't like the way it moves. It's like the whole thing is gelatinous. Hold your breath! You know what occurs to me? That to prepare for this, they almost certainly had someone spend hours and hours studying pictures of mold. Oh, fuck. Standing right next to the goddamn thing. I will note that this does mean that would have been mounted on the wall next to the ceiling in the, uh, the original layout of this room. That didn't sound like a good landing. I'm sure your ankles are alright? No, it's out. If I break the last one, am I just gonna fall down to the ground? Oh, this is weird. Oh, well, I don't like what this does to my brain. I feel like I should be able to... Oh, oh! Uh, how do I line myself up with it? Yeah. No AC, no mold spore, circulation. But it might get a bit stuffy in here. Oh. I mean, you know, just to be on the safe side. I mean, you know, real janitors don't get a quest complete every time they finish a qu uh, mess. It's just their job, you know? Just helping out Ati here, that's all. <laughs> uh. See, I thought this said Ordinary Town Motel, and I'm like, did I miss something? Alright, let's head into the spooky room. At least we're protected from the spooky man. You know, because Jesse made some photocopies of that letter and sent it to three random people in the Bureau. And I recorded the letter and uploaded it to YouTube! Sorry, guys! <laughs> yeah, you might want to get on that. <laughs> uh. Ooh, up. That's a new one. You do these things just go down to ever-increasing depths. Wait. Okay, just check it. Don't mind if I do. Oh, good! It's a lunar lander! This has something to do with the fucking moon! Oh, it's Hartman. He's standing right in front of it. I didn't even know see him at first. What is that? You see that? Right at the top of the lander. There! Something just keeps appearing. Let's do this so we can figure it out. I remember hearing that uh, a bunch of people, you know, among, among the stupid reasons people thought the moon landing was uh, staged, was because the lighting in the pictures looked strange. But apparently, uh, the, the the dust and dirt that ma that makes up the surface of the moon, they call it regolith, is one of the most reflective mineral uh, you know elements known. It just it just rejects light. That's why the moon is so goddamn bright. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh fuck. I didn't really notice how creepily he animates until I was going over the footage, because I just always see to see him and go, Ah, I'm gonna turn around now. Did I mention that last time? I thought there was a conversation I had with a friend, but... Fragmented impulses on the... 
Oh, right. They just go straight through him. I forgot about that. Like, he isn't even there. Keep going! Damn it. Yeah, shit piece. Eh, what the hell. From our own summary! Nice. I finally get to learn. AWE 7. Ooh. Event date, January 31st, 1971. To... To dis uh, sorry to February 9th, 1971. Event location from Morrow Formation Luna. Oh no. A paranatural entity arrived on Earth by infiltrating the Apollo 14 lunar mission at an unknown point of their voyage to the Framaro Highlands of the Moon. Oh no. 32 hours after the return of the F Apollo 14 command module to Earth, the Bureau was contacted by Mr. Redacted, a White House senior official, and instructed to send a team, a small team, to the Johnson Space Center in Houston. At the base, the team examined the entity and carried out interviews with NASA staff. They learned that four astronauts had returned to Earth instead of the expected three. Each human crew member was insistent that the mission left with four members, that they couldn't name the fourth when asked. The entity seemingly affected their memory to make its presence feel unremarkable. The entity was transported to the oldest house for further investigation. Note, an altercation between NASA security and the investigation team occurred upon their arrival. Mr. Redacted called to clarify the matter, though tensions remained high. Bureau jurisdiction and clearance should be defined more clearly with other federal agencies. So Framaro is a fucking alien. I mean, I already knew it, you know, it could talk and it spoke in word salad, but goddamn. Okay. The timer did go during that, so with that interesting bombshell dropped, uh, I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play AWE, the DLC chapter for Control. When we get out there, we slap Hartman around a bit. Wait. Why does it still say the one about the transit bay? The new you. Oh, good. He's just screaming out lines from his book. Ahem! Yeah. I'll see you next time, Bernie Dog fans. Stay in the light.